everyone. Uh, my name is Nikita, and we are live with Pankaj um, Dahalia, who is a queer photographer and uh, has worked with different genres of visual arts in a bid to deeply explore the discourse surrounding identity, community, culture, and memory. Um, he's keenly interested in sexuality and gender politics of representation and has showcased his art through theater, photography, and performance art. Today, we're going to talk about his project called Kya Aap Mujhe Pehchante Hain or Can You Identify Me? It's a public art project recasting and reconstructing popular characters from Hindi film industry, Bollywood, uh, through the lens of gender politics. The aim is to present wide gender spectrum through our, the existing dreams and desire. Very interesting. Uh, uh, so uh, welcome Pankaj, first of all. And we're really excited to talk to you here. Uh, my first question is, um, what gave you this idea? Like, uh, what made you decide to, do, you know, start something? It was not like one this? thing which led me to the project, actually. They were, it was an amalgamation of a lot of things that were happening with me. And apart from what was happening personally and what was happening professionally where I, I was, I think it was the fact that the conversations of art and gender were very exclusive. Um, and I was just, I was in a... I was studying documentary photography before that in a college and that's when I was I was starting to realize that I was realizing that these conversations were happening in a certain um, vocabulary. They were happening in a certain spaces which were not accessible to a larger public. And hence, the impact was not large. Hence, um, what ended up happening was that there was nothing really changing on road, on ground level. They're talking on Instagram lives <laughs> like right now. These conversations are happening in galleries, are they reaching the mass? They were not. And uh, that's, that's, that's where a lot of it started uh, in the core. And I knew that if I had to talk about gender, if I had to talk about my lived experience as a queer person, um, I knew that I had to talk to speak to a larger audience. If, uh, if there was even a slight bit of change that I was hoping, or even if I was hoping for a slight bit of conversation, I had to speak to a larger audience. I had to move out of this exclusive space of artists, exhibitions, galleries. And um, I wanted it to be an inclusive conversation. I wanted gender to be something which every common pe person can talk about. And at least, even if not talk about it critically, but just like start questioning it in their brain. Like, what is it? What is the gender binary? And what is, how is it affecting them? Yeah. Uh what was your process like uh, from starting and uh, what characters and how do you decide the characters okay this character will be very per will be perfect mm -hmm. to define what i want to and want to talk about okay uh, so how the do you process decide of that? deciding the characters in particular it was i mean this was the most fun part i think during <laughs> um, everybody that I have collaborated with all the cast members. There are, there are nine performers to the project. Uh, we've only seen a limited number of performers right now in the photographs that have gone live. But um, the nine performers in total and how this would begin would I would connect with them probably on Instagram through a friend of a friend or I would know them or they might be just someone like an acquaintance. So I would reach out to them. I would tell them I'm doing this project. And then I would ask them, what would you want to be? What do you want to be? What do you desire? And uh, just like think of anything like that would be the first conversation that maybe would reconnect two days later, three days later. And then I'll have a few like I had a whole list, like an Excel sheet ready of all the iconic characters, all the characters from Bollywood, which have like changed our country culturally. And uh, I had that Excel sheet with me and then I would pick and choose characters like thinking, OK, this might go well for this person and this one would go well for the other one. And these performers, these queer people who are now my friends, all, all, of, all of my friends would come and they would come up with their own uh, character that they wanted to be. And what was really interesting here was the, was the motivation why these people wanted to be these characters, you know, like, um, so I'll give you some example, like uh, Vineet. Vineet Anand mm -hmm. um, plays Rekha in the, uh, in the project. And like the moment I asked Vineet this question, Vineet was like, I'm doing Rekha. No questions asked. <laughs> and that was just so instant. Like, I was like, why? Vineet, 
like a very that moment when he was like i'm obsessed with rekha i've seen myself as rekha when i walk into a party dressed up in a sari i know i'm living with my rekha fantasy so i knew uh, so we did we need as rekha and then we need also chose to do three years because there comes the fiction there comes the contrast there comes the conversation of gender is fluid um and at the end of the day we are not just one thing we just don't represent ourselves as just one box and then similarly someone like malika malika again chooses to play i mean you've not seen the posters from malika the only posters you've seen is queen but then yeah malika chooses to play queen despite knowing the fact that they are someone who were born female at birth yet even we're talking about gender fluidity and uh, non binary people she also Malika starts this conversation of that you want me to look a certain way when you think of me as gender non-binary, but hey, no, I'm not gonna serve that to you. I'm gonna make you rethink. I'm gonna make you question that even furthermore that I could be this and that. So that happens, yeah. and then Malika also does someone yeah. like uh, Arjun Kapoor from Ishaq Zadeh, which is completely toxic masculine, which is yet which is something you guys have not seen yet. um so yeah this was the whole process like i mean this was a lot of back and forth first call second call third call then we'd get into styling i had like a great team and then i would be styling myself eventually and then we would like meticulously like plan every look in terms of the what would the makeup be like what would be the styling be like what would you be wearing what would you not be wearing we would be reimagining every character from that time from that movie because the aesthetic was completely different so we had to and then also the part of memory had to play we had to make sure that it had to look like that character yeah so that was the whole process i think briefly yeah it's very interesting how your characters themselves like the people themselves were Absolutely. part of it like they gave in their own inputs and this is what i want to be so this is what i think this must have been more uh, not easier but very interesting to see okay the people themselves you know that they think of the characters uh, not defining in, a, in any gender or any uh, you know like that's very interesting um so now uh, what is the uh, situation of the project like uh, if we want people like more if it if we want more people to know about it so where can they get access to it where can they watch it or, or you know where can they you know, <laughs> see your work so um currently the work is live uh, the work is on the streets the work is there as street posters the work is there as pamphlets the work is there as um, um flyers newspaper inserts everything is there the work is getting um i mean people like you citizen are sharing the work with a lot of audience i'm really glad about that so that's happening i am launching my website today right after this live so that's also going to be a way for everyone to reach out and like see the whole work together and um, what else yeah yeah so i mean basically uh, digitally there is this sort of a way uh, through these publications i'm trying to create that network of people that where it reaches more and more number of people and then eventually my website is going to be that one place where everybody can go and see what the work is exactly how the work is doing it it has um the photos the documentations of everything that's had, that has been happening in the streets all the public dives that i've been doing so yeah um this this one thing that you know a lot of times the work is confined to the communities that it is of course it is for the community but also mm. it, it gets confined in that um what uh, steps do you think could be taken for yourself and for other artists as well who wants mm. to target bigger audience to uh, um you know for people to understand this uh, the the issues and the and the identity with which people you know identify themselves uh what, i mean come, again i want like side? sorry i lost you in between yeah so i i i said that a lot of times the uh, projects you know like for for example if there is someone from the queer community who uh, who uh, is uh, can, they're starting a project but it gets confined to the queer community and doesn't really go out right and it has or it stays in the artist community or hmm. the particular industry what can be done in your suggestion to for people for artists also to go on a bigger level and for people also to uh, get access to it and understand this because we have to bring yeah. out this work, yeah. work further right to the See, bigger uh, audience to the um, larger audience i mean in my opinion just make work and put it out take it to the public like just literally just print it on a goddamn paper and paste it start with that 
you think social media is helping that uh, breaking See, that uh, definitely narrow social media set. breaks down this barrier in a way that um on social media there are a certain group of people who are more welcoming to the conversation of queerness who are more welcoming to the conversation of uh, lgbtqia plus people who might they are more respectful of you on social media because they are not anonymous but these are also the same people who might yeah. not be so welcoming on the streets these are the same people who might not be so welcoming in their immediate private spaces yeah. so definitely what social media does is that it puts up this sort of a bubble where uh, you are sharing the work it's reaching out to a lot of people it's going to that masses and uh, you're breaking away from those circles that you were mentioning right but having said that um it is essentially really important that we take this conversation beyond social media and i'll tell you why i say that because um yeah. the larger um the larger i mean a population is so huge a larger chunk of our audience is still not so actively uh i mean using instagram and more than that even if they are the algorithm yeah. makes sure that if you're a queer person your content reaches to the right people who would entertain that who would appreciate that and it it keeps yeah. them in those yeah. boxes because it, instagram wants to make everyone happy with whatever they're seeing and showing so yeah. it still remains yeah. in a little bit of a bubble and we need to be breaking away from that and uh, that's why um someone who's using a bus someone who's using an auto someone who's uh, going to their work and someone who's just sitting at their home cutting some vegetables and other things we need to be taking this conversation to them we need to be breaking we need to be breaking circles yeah. and reaching those points because that is where the conversation has never reached that is where people have never discussed yeah. what it is to be queer i mean um आई थिंक हमारे घरों में या फिर रेगुलर मिडिल क्लास घरों में आज भी लोग ये खुलकर डिस्कस नहीं करते हैं वॉट इज इट टू बी गेट एंड इट्स ओनली अ लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ पीपल टॉक अबाउट इट आई होप आई आंसर योर क्वेश्चन इफ आई प्लीज did you did no no you did i think this is very important uh, I, i really i wanted to know this because um, you know covering it and also still identifying myself you know there are a lot of questions and i feel that everything is so confined that sometimes it just it just uh, yeah. comes in a very limited space and there is no larger discourse that needs to be done so that's why i wanted to ask and understand what can be done and you're right social media is not access access by a lot of people it's very shocking that facebook is used more uh, you know it, uh, to uh, to the audience which is from middle class or lower middle class like facebook is the most accessible social media but i think we need to uh, bring out things beyond social media so that people from the niche places can also get access to it um very interesting knowing uh, how did you come up with the name because uh, it is very different and very unique yeah. like it's yeah. very catchy mujhe pehchante hain this this video that i put up which starts with saying naam bahut naturally aaya and <laughs> so actually that's it the name really just came in naturally i had uh, a different title initially so that was called kya aap inhe pehchante hain not kya aap mujhe pehchante hain and while i was working into the project a few months later i was writing something on my google docs to myself and i was re- i realized that why i have why did i differentiate myself from the character that i'm playing that's just me i am not questioning the audience that if they know someone else i'm co- questioning them if they know me so um kya yeah. aap mujhe pehchante hain and more than anything else you know see even the title was thought through from so many different point of views number one it has to be in the street yeah. is so because yeah. it was going to be in the street it it yeah. had to be a conversation starter so the moment you see something written like kya aap mujhe pehchante on the uh, on the street you immediately go, go like hmm do i know them and the beauty of this is that when you see something like that you don't question me in the picture you question yourself you question your memory of me if you have seen me somewhere if you've seen someone like me anywhere and you have just that you've chosen to ignore us for so long but and that that's in that moment it strikes you that oh this is that person this is similar to that person that i've seen it is similar to that person i know and immediately there's this connection i establish with you in your memory um other than that i had to have a title which was um 
which started a conversation. It just did not have to be like something you read and you leave. It has to be something which holds your attention, which starts the conversation, a confrontation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, now the you said the project is mm. live and it's out there. What has the response been like? Uh, have people, uh, you know, upload? Of course, I'm. I'm sure they might find it find it interesting. But anything that you found, okay, this is something a different uh, sort of appreciation or different sort of audience. That I've, I've had the most through. wholesome response on the streets. This was so surprising. I can't tell you. I've had. Um, I mean, so the, I was doing this test drive. I was doing a public test drive before doing the actual drive. So what I, was, uh, I put up posters near Nehru Place. Uh, it's one of the largest computer markets uh, in the country, Asia probably. So um, what happens is that I put yeah. up this um, Umrao Jan poster of Vineet and uh, uh, the poster of Vineet is completely decked up, looking gorgeous and glamorous. And, uh, and there's chest here. So that's very subtle amount. I mean, you... You have to really go into the details to understand where we are confusing and playing with the gender here. So there's this person I start interviewing and they go they go like ki, ye jo ladies hai, ye ladies sundar hai, par inke chest pe jo baal hai, mujhe wo saman nahi aa rahe hai. So <laughs> I am, and okay. I and that is it. That is what I want to do. Question. Yeah. You have to just question Questions. the existence of this gender which the system has taught you. And that is exactly what is happening. And you won't, I mean, yesterday, day before yeah. yesterday, um, I was on the streets. I was doing, we just did the street poster public drive again. And this time I was taking, uh, I was recording and documenting how people were responding to it. And there was this person who works at a pharmacy and uh, they came up and they talked about otherness. They, they mentioned how we are looking at them as other and I was amazed and that and you know that makes me really think of like how the larger public is actually open to these conversations it's just that they need a starting point to thinking into it they need a starting point to question and that's what this project is doing it welcomes you to do that it invites you and it motivates you like to do it in a fun way like Bollywood Exactly. And I, and I feel that laws aside, we need to actually change the mindset of the people and normalize this, this whole, you know, identity. I mean, this is not just about two genders anymore. And we have to realize that. Um, a lot of people are asking about your website. If you could, uh, they're asking if the, it will have, have all the details and the creative I'm, processes and everything. Yes, just I'm tell them about the website. going through this question also. We'll also good. have the thought process, creative process, the journey. Um, okay, um, so the website URL is www.bankasahalia.com. There you go, it's live. Uh, and uh, the website is going to have all the photographs, artworks that I've released so far. It is going to have a brief description of what I've done. It is going to have documents from the all the public drives that I'm conducting. And it is also going to have like a bonus um, thing where you get to meet my cast, where each and every one of them is going to talk about just yeah it's, it's, it's well, this really is fun conversations you have to see them. i'm interested no, I'm really, do, the, I'll be these, the i mean i have these people <laughs> the coming website. and talking about the most random stuff the most random stuff and these guys are like connecting yeah. anime and qns they're connecting tattoo and qns and i mean imagine that like wow. these people they're... i mean after Watching the posters, I saved them on my phone. I was like, I'm going to share them with my people because this is so beautiful. It was very aesthetically beautiful and it was so interesting to see them. So I really hope that it reaches uh, the mass audience. Um, uh, probably one of the last questions that I have is any future projects that you have or you're thinking of? That um, like I do have us? a lot of things in my mind because... I spent so much time working on Kya Mujhe that I've been constantly thinking of what or because my mind keeps on bringing in new ideas and I've been writing them down and I've been like researching on the side every time I get a break or every time I want to take a little bit of break. Um, so it's been two years. I've, I've thought about a lot of ideas. They're like um, three to four, four ideas that I have in my mind right now. Um, I might not be able to share them right now because they're too at a very early stage to discuss. Um, but but you yes, be the that. first one to know, don't worry. And hopefully the first one to publish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
for sure for sure um also um uh, do you think that after after the projects and everything um the audience as you talked about how pe- pe- people are asking you questions um how uh, large the audience is going to be like is it we, right now is it like limited to cities or whether you're planning to you know uh, even like larger the audience to, like reach as many people as possible that's the that's the core idea of the project reach the masses as many people as possible the recent newspaper drive i did i reached out to 10000 who households and offices uh yes and okay. um, with posters i ha- with the street That's- posters i have already uh, done pasted more than like 2000 plus posters uh, with flyers that i have distributed i have already distributed more than 3000 flyers in person so that's just the starting and it's less than 2 weeks since i've been doing this so uh, the public drive has just started and that you can imagine yeah. probably where i hope to take it and definitely i have this idea that i'll be doing mobile exhibitions of the project i'll be taking it uh in an easy to install and uninstall manner to a lot of schools and colleges mm-hmm. because that's where i really want to start the conversation as well and um, yeah that's there in the future and, and uh, someone is again asking can we get a hard copy of the poster Wait, yeah, okay. i also have is that in copy mind. Rohit. Uh, okay um um uh, you'll get the hard copy soon i mean honestly just go on to the street to your poster and keep it just go ahead I mean, oh yes yeah just that's, like really that's, that's the whole point of the street posters go to the streets i've already told you the locations and literally pull it off the wall and take it home and or maybe i have a lot of pamphlets and flyers the next time i'm distributing them come along i'll give you a few yes yes yeah please i mean honestly do that the back of the posters <laughs> take them down do. take them home all that you want to do <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to place in a while. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, uh, one last question. Sorry, I I wanted to talk about queer space and whether um in um whether they're welcomed by the other uh you know community as in the artist community. How that way, or there needs to be more work done, and like how much. I'm so sorry. Uh, I lost you in the second bit of the. Sorry, I I said that the the audible. Make it as bad. I think the internet connection is a little. Uh, yeah. Is it okay right now? I'll just change. Yeah. So I was just talking about queer space and uh, uh, the other uh, art space, which is the heteros- heterosexual space in art, in art only. Whether the que- queer communities, uh, uh, you know, welcome the way it should be, and if not, then what needs to be done, and wh- is, there needs okay, to be okay. From what I understood with my poor internet connection is that <laughs> how. <laughs> if the queer community is accepted within the art circles and if not what work needs yeah. to be done around it right yeah yeah i have a little bit of opinion on the art circles which i should not uh, which okay so um i have to say that um um the art circles is one of the most accepting and welcoming of queer people in general um having said that um i feel that it's a lot of a performance and a show is also put up in a certain spaces but uh, there are a few um, spaces which are genuinely welcoming queer artists who are generally celebrating their work and honestly taking it forward so i really appreciate that and um, there is i mean there needs to be more work done definitely because well we're still struggling in our everyday life <laughs> so the work needs to be done and uh, we're still trying to make it through and uh, people are still try- trying to i just feel like one thing that i really do want to say about it is um promote more and different kind of work around queerness what is happening right now is that especially in the visual sense i'm not talking about um, structures and i'm not talking about uh, textile i'm talking about visual artworks photography video and other formats and other mediums 
what is happening right now is that there is only one way in which people are representing queerness. There is you are either seen uh, from a lens of pity, uh, sympathy, or from a lens which is completely sexualizing your identity, and there is nothing in between. And that's just been my major concern even before I started working on this project. When I was in college, when I was studying all the projects, when I was looking at everyone's work, and I was looking at what is, what is where, what is being talked about, what is happening, I was there was this there was this gap. I felt that hey, where are the emotions? I mean, this can only really, really important to put out these points as well. But there's so much more missing one and. What is about queerness from a high uh, sexual point of view or from a very petty point of view that most people are not able to connect with uh, most straight people are not able to connect with queer work and someone has to fill that gap you know mm. and it's not on the it's not on the art spaces mm. but on the artist also I I mean did I answer mm. your question again or did I just be rude yeah. Yeah, I, you know, no, I I think it's the internet connection. Yeah. It's very interesting. I was hmm. listening to you. That makes sense, and I think it's very very important. Right. We need to bridge the gap. That's the whole point, right? To bridge the gap, to make people understand, um, especially the hmm. the class differentiation that is there. You know, the the uh, the middle class, the lower middle class. They also need to understand because queer people exist everywhere, and you know, we need to reach out every to everyone. Um, so, Pankaj, uh, thank you so much. This was a very interesting conversation. Anything you would like to add? Anything you would want to talk about that people should be aware oh, of about oh, the project? Oh. It's just the beginning, guys. We are com we are coming. Yeah. <laughs> Queerness yes, is going to be sure. all around you, and I'm going to make sure it reaches you. Watch. Wow! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be looking out for that. Thank you, Pankaj. This was a really lovely conversation, and we hope to see your work and your website. And I'm going to go get the posters right now. So <laughs> thank you so much. That, that was, thank you so it was much so much fun talking to you, this. and really thank you for giving space for the work. Thank you for making time for this. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much.